Okay, ready? I'm ready. Welcome to my channel. This is the Pretty and Productive Life. I'm Melinda Marie, and the way that I see it, black female entrepreneurs, especially in the hair and beauty industry, we have to do more on the business side. I think we really got it down pat as far as like marketing and branding because we are natural influencers and let's just face it everybody want a little piece of the culture but when it comes to the business side and really push push pushing we've made a lot of advances but i just feel like we got to do more so i've been in the hair industry for about six years i have a lot of knowledge under my belt but you guys know in the beauty industry things change every single day there's always new terminology there's gray this and, and remy that so this year i made it a point i actually went to china last year i went to a certain part of china this time i went to a totally different city because i wanted to get inside of those factories i wanted to make it all make sense get a little bit of more um, confirmation and confidence within my business and see what i can do because one of the main struggles that i see in the hair industry that no matter what marketing class you take no matter what influencer you follow we cannot ignore the fact that right now our suppliers are also our competition China literally is selling to us as wholesalers, as business owners, but they're going rightly, directly to our customers, selling direct to them. They're actually using, they know that we're running a business, but they're using our branding and marketing to sell to our customers. So I wanted to get a um, better view of the bigger picture to see what can we do? Like, how can we really compete when our suppliers are our competition? Um, one of the things that is, has been consistent along the way is that China does have a lot over us. They got skin in the game. They got um, people working for them for very cheap. They got the factories. They got the experience in this industry. And they watch us like hawks to steal our marketing. But one thing they cannot duplicate is the culture and the brand. So right now, it's a lot of things that I already knew. But I have a whole new view when it comes to what we need to do in our community to make sure that they don't wipe us all out. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did, a little bit behind the scenes of my trip, where I went, I met, I met with factories, I met with the owner. Sometimes online, we talk to people on WhatsApp, and we talk to people on Facebook or Instagram, and we think that we're talking directly to the factory. But guess what? Most of the factory owners, they don't even speak English. So if you're talking to somebody in English, more than likely they're not the factory owners. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the behind the scenes of me touring the factories, me solo traveling in China. I went to China with no interpreter, um, not a lot of money, so I didn't stay at any fancy hotels. I did not um, have car service all the time. So don't let that stop you. If you're serious about going to China for business, it's one thing to go for branding and you know getting your videos and all that stuff and making a name for yourself. But if you're going for business, which is what I feel like we need to be focusing on is the business side of the house. You do not have to stress yourself too much about making it a glamorous trip. Just get out there and do, do it. I did it solo. You guys are going to see me uh, walking, taxiing, and budget flying all over China. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. I will be sharing more content, especially about our, in um, our industry and what I feel like we need to do as black female entrepreneurs to collaborate and conquer the content here make sure you guys subscribe if you follow me on facebook you may have seen some of this content but subscribe 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 because more is coming and of course share this video. you can find more content from me at ladyleader.org and i also have a facebook group called pretty and productive so this is me I'm laying down in the airport in canada with no shame because i refuse to spend $240 on a hotel. That money could be spent on a flight to one of the many cities I'm about to travel to in China. That hair, that money could be used to buy hair. That's a kilo of hair. If my negotiation skills are on point like they will be when I get there. So I'm going to try to get some sleep because my flight doesn't leave until 11 tomorrow. And it's like almost midnight. Yeah.
tell y'all, solo travel or traveling to a foreign country, period, is not for the faint hearted, okay? It takes a lot of freaking patience and a lot of just making it happen, okay? I am so proud of myself because number one, first of all, this trip, even though this is my second solo trip to China, let me tell y'all, I'm so hyped because I just got off the bus and the whole time I was on the bus, I didn't know where I was going. But when he pulled up and I started to recognize stuff, oh, I'm a world traveler now. You call me Dora the Explorer, okay? But anyway, I'm so proud of myself because everything that could go wrong on this trip freaking went wrong. I feel like this trip was harder for me to navigate than the first trip. Number one, just... <laughs> a lot of the things that we're accustomed to in the states aren't reliable over here i'll just put it like that to make a long story short but i'm proud of myself because i made it from my loft me being me i did everything kind of like the non-touristy way like i didn't stay at a chain hotel i kind of went more into the local area i used subways and buses i ain't got no driver i ain't got no translator I just be out here, okay? And I made it from my loft to the expo. So I had to catch a bus, then get on the subway, check in, mind you, I'm like, I, I ran into, out of all the thousands of people that was there, I ran into one other person that spoke English. One, <laughs> I made it back. Like I had to find, the subway's easy. I, I can kind of navigate the subway. But the buses, listen, I am so proud of myself. Then I'm so happy because I found a lash manufacturer that is going to give a really good rate to my um, my private group. But just to let y'all know, so you can feel the excitement like I feel right now, <laughs> the lashes that I'm wearing, don't judge me. I done had this on all day and I've been walking probably 20,000 steps. But these lashes I bought for some, some from Sephora for $30, because there's the one they the ones you can take off and put back on. I found some lashes, the 25 millimeter lashes like these, for a dollar and ninety cents. Think about that flip. You bought it for a dollar and ninety, even if you don't sell it at Sephora prices, maybe you ain't got a Sephora brand and you sell it for twenty dollars. That come up is about to be real. Hey, bye y'all. I just had to let y'all in on that hype because your girl out here solo traveling and making it work. Chinese Uber and there's no Ubers <laughs> and it's four o'clock and my flight leaves at 6 40 and the airport's an hour away and I'm freaking out like I'm freaking out and so I look around across the street there was a crown plaza because you know I stayed in a loft I didn't stay in like a chain hotel so I run over there sign language my way into finding somebody to call me a taxi and so now I'm in the back of the taxi and, and the guy that found the taxi was like she has very little time push it and he is pushing it they already drive crazy over here but he is getting it to this airport but i am so 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 happy and i'm praying that i do not miss this flight because this will throw my whole trip off <laughs> so wish me luck and oh of course it's like four o'clock in the morning in shanghai so we are definitely doing we are definitely doing a good but that's the speed limit. It's like I just need 120 on the sign, so maybe there's a speed limit around. So I made it to the airport in time, but I have like 20 minutes, like 15 minutes before my flight actually starts boarding. So I think I'm good, but these lines are ridiculous, so I'm freaking out. So yeah, freaking out because I have like minutes to spare. But um, I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay. Everybody's staring at me like I'm crazy. Because one, I'm black, and two, I'm American, and then three, I have a phone in my face. 
it's crazy because everybody's staring at me, but nobody could help me find where I need to be. And all this running through this airport, I feel like my cycle just came on. This is about to be a fun trip in King Dow. I made it to the front. I made it through. Well, I made it through like the customs part. Uh, Thank you. No power bank. And what else? Operator? Umbrella? No. No pockets. So now I made it through security. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, I'm freaking out. Okay, so now I gotta just find my gate. I just gotta find my gate, that's all. What the hell? It's like C50, C50 to C224, and I'm C79. So I guess it looks like I'm going that way, me and everybody else, because it's fucking all level. My path though. Gushy. Bitches out here beasting in China. Call me motherfucking Dora the Explorer. Y'all don't want to take no China trip with me. I know y'all expect these trips to be slumber parties, and photo bombs, and selfies. My trips are full of anxiety, sweat, and looking crazy. to try to maneuver my way to baggage claim. And one of the hair factories that I'm meeting with actually was nice enough to pick me up at the airport and book a hotel for me. So I was truly, truly grateful for that. I'm low key just following the people that was on the plane with me. But I'm trying to look, oh, this is it. <laughs> it's crazy because it is like eight o'clock in the morning, but I'm tired. Like, so I'm trying to get my energy up because I'm meeting hair factory um, representative. This person that's picking me up is probably a sales representative. I'm pretty sure the manager or the owner is not doing airport runs, but I'm trying not to be like dead when they come pick me up from the airport. Um, but I also have like probably about four or five more places that I'm supposed to meet up with while I am here. So this is gonna be a full day. Today is the 8th. I'm here the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. And then on the 10th, I'm out back to flying back to Shanghai, catching a train to a third and final city. So I'm super excited, but I'm tired. So I'll talk to y'all later. Is it far? Yeah, um, I was an hour traveling. <laughs> My More traveling. Will, yeah, we'll pick up. Just <laughs> now I'm here waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> I walk right past. <laughs> okay, we go to the upstairs. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> She's struggling with my back. I really wish I would have packed light. Okay. So we have to go an hour. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what do you like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tastes the same. <laughs>
Close to the panties saving color. Yeah, the price is close to the way I said I said to you. Close to but the more? Mm -hmm. But higher? No, 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 no higher. Okay. Close, close the price. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get uh mm -hmm. so this is gonna be the difference if you get it from the factory 613. Versus you get in a different quality and lighten it. You can get it close, but as you can see, it's not the same. You're going to get it from... So this can go to here? This yeah, is what yeah, you yeah. can lift to here? Okay. Yeah, even better than this one. Uh, this, even, yeah, even better than this one. When this, uh, this pair is dyed. Okay. to go try to take a taxi back to the district where most of the hair factories are at. My hotel room is closer to the airport, which is like an hour away from the districts of the actual factory. So today should be fun. I do not have um, the agent to translate for me. So I'm going to be using the Microsoft Translate app because I met someone in the airport that said it was like the best app ever for this area. So wish me luck. But um, what I normally do when I have to catch a taxi, I try to avoid it like by any means necessary. I try to either catch the bus or to catch the metro because, you know, taxis, foreigner, the whole scam likely thing. <laughs> and what I do is like if it's an area where it's a lot of taxis, I'll go to one taxi, ask how much, then immediately walk off and go to another one and then go to a third one. And if they all the same, because normally when you walk off from the first one, they're going to try to get you to come back anyway. So I just do that just to check the prices and to see if they'll change when they realize I'm not going to go for the first four in a price. So we'll see. Okay, so I managed to get a taxi. I had a little bit of help. And I, of course, I use the translator. The trip is about um, 45 minutes to an hour. And it costs 90 RMB, which is like $13. So I think that's a good price compared to it costs like $13 to go 10 minutes in the US. So I don't know. Um, and it's pretty safe. back and forth right <laughs> you know when well, he tried to upsell me on a high speed high speed fee like i don't want to talk too much because you know you be around people that don't speak english but they they can hear you but um yeah he playing american music i think because i'm in here but it's like some country music <laughs> not that i got anything against country but i ain't never heard this song a day in my life when I was in Shanghai, there were people who did not know Beyonce. Think about that perspective as an entrepreneur. There are people in this world who live without knowing Beyonce. It's okay if you ain't on yet. Beyonce ain't on in Shanghai. I 
made it to the district where the hair factories are at. I would pronounce it for you guys, but I don't know how. But as you can clearly see, this area is being demolished and rebuilt. So it looks super crazy and super freaking sketchy out here. Thank you, God, for cell phone service. Okay, so it is at this moment that I feel like I'm a little bit too committed to this hair thing because i'm literally in the middle of nowhere but nah i'm in the district where most of the hair factories factories period this is how we get to have so much stuff for cheap in america is because this is how they how they living out here cellular connection chinese sim card microsoft translate thank you for it all okay my ride seems to be here hello, hello. <laughs> i was like what is this <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's right here. So I came right to the right spot. Perfect. All the house in, in the village uh, it's go demolished. To, go to other other here. They, they are used for factory. All the place. Oh, okay. Our factory to our country to do that. Goes yeah, yeah. from here to other places. Yeah, you use this 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 place to do other other things. Thank you. You've been here um, many years, right? I yeah, remember. Yeah. Many talking years. to you online years ago long long yeah, time yes yes long time back so is do you have different grading system or all the same different different yes, okay we have two grades two mm -hmm. grades yes okay is this which one is this? We have two grades. Uh, uh, one is uh, more far, more short here inside. Is this the highest or higher? This, this one is, is the higher. What's the next one down? This one is uh, nine grade. This one is eight grade. This one's nine. This one's eight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, sorry. This one is nine grade. This one is ten grade. You can compare. You tell the difference. So how many different grades do you have? Two, two, two. Just nine and ten. Yes. Oh, okay. And this one's nine. Yes, this one is ten. Okay. So you don't change the band color for a grade. A uh, week. Uh, Both we black. No, no, no. This one is natural color. It can bind to twenty-seven colors. Not the hair, the band. Oh, uh, you like a uh, good. Eh? So it doesn't matter. Good. Does the color mean Good. the grade? No, 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 no. Because different uh, customer choose different colors. So the customer choose the band. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, they have good. So how do you know the difference? This one. We will put the tango, put a label when we deliver it. It will write a turn or um, this one is nine, this one is ten. How do you know? You can touch it. They are different. This is nine, and this is ten. Oh, I see. Wait, this is ten? Oh, sorry. This is nine. This is ten. This is very four. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. You can check. It's all shared here. But this, but this nine grade is here. So here inside. But some. Some people say double drawn means all one length. Yes. Some people say it's double weft. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it double weft? Yeah, it's yes. double web. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they are double web. Mm -hmm. Check. It's very thick. The hearing. Mm -hmm. Check this thick. one is loose wave. Yeah. 20, 20 inch loose wave. Yeah, very thick. What's the longest? 30. 30? Do you have a 30 I can see? Yes. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Uh, loose wave. If you have, L -W. do you have any um, kinky curly in here? Kinky curly. Kinky curly. What else do you want to check? I want to look at long uh, twenty four or or the longest. Twenty four. I started this. 
Oh yeah, let me see deep wave. <laughs> sorry. Let's oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> adventurous day i'm checking out of my hotel i'm going back to the same district that i went to yesterday but today i'm prepared low-key yesterday i was scared for real but i ain't want to say nothing because people be watching my videos y'all and they be telling my mama i ain't want nobody to go back and tell my mama like your baby is lost in china and my mama freak out but i made it i survived yesterday and i can do it again today with a little bit more confidence not in a bad way because i know how people is in my hometown like not in the like negative way but you know people talk but today i'm going a little bit more prepared but i feel like today is going to be adventurous because i'm checking out of my hotel early and i have a late flight so even though there is stuff that i want to do today it's like i gotta find stuff to do all day because i don't have a room and i gotta make it to the airport by eight nine ten o'clock tonight so follow along it's been a long day i'm always vlogging alex so <laughs> I think it's real though. Yep, perfect. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm tired. Front threes of our hair. Okay. Okay. okay yeah. Let's see. talk about all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. The bands mean anything? Uh huh. Does the bands mean anything? The bundle, the color. These. Oh, that's that. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean the, the great colors, question? Though. The yeah. great big question. So. <laughs> Gold band, silver band, black band, uh, blue. Blue. Band. Yeah. I like the transparent oh. better than the uh, HD. No. I am so exhausted. I don't know what to do with my life. I literally ran to this airport because my bag was oversized. And when I checked in, they told me it was oversized, but they didn't tell me like, okay, it's oversized, you gotta do other stuff. So I go to security, and mind you, I didn't have a lot of time in security. So when I go to security, they're like, your bag, your bag has a problem. So I gotta go back to where I checked in, take my oversized bag to the oversized bag area, and then run over here. Luckily, it looks like I have plenty of time, because I mean, everybody else still in line. But your girl is winded, full blown, can't breathe okay i'm over it absolutely positively done with ching out now i'm on the bus us on the bus everybody looking at me like i'm a freak of nature <laughs> that was awkward now i'm on the bus i made it i survived then i'm going to my final city in china and that is it this last city i'm chilling the first two cities y'all run me raggedy the people in my group they run me raggedy they had me going everywhere <laughs> they had me going everywhere this last city, I'm gonna chill, okay? Okay, so we made it to the plane. This, I'm taking my, I don't even know what number flight this is. So I took a flight from Shanghai to Dallas to Shanghai, Shanghai to Qingdao. So I guess this is just my third flight, but um, I'm always, I always wait to the end. Number one, so I can take my pictures. Number two, 
I ain't got time to coach y'all. I'm just waiting here in the back and get my seat after y'all get out of the way. He told me to stop playing around and, and get in line. Respect. So that means I'm gonna have to pay a taxi every day that I wanna go to the market. But hey, that is gonna help me for planning if I come back. And in my defense, a lot of the a lot of this uh, trip I planned as I go as I went. But that's something that I know for future. And also, one of the people that speak English, they actually live here in the city. So now I have an um, actual local connection with somebody here. So if I decide to come back and bring people back, I know somebody locally. And I'm going to have time to look at, um, hopefully, lofts that are closer near the market uh, to book for next time. I, I just, I'm just trying to safely make it to my um room and I'm gonna I'm check back in after I get in and shower and all of that good stuff. Lord, felt this breeze come out of here. I was like, oh, this the part where hard work pay off. This the part where hard work pay off. Let's look at the view. Oh, I got me a washing machine. I can wash my clothes. You are the city. Bounce back. Hey, guys. So, um... One of my mentors had told me like that when I was coming here that it was big, but I didn't realize she meant like it's the whole block. Like all of these buildings are part of the market to the point where I don't even know if my taxi dropped me in the, off in the right section. We gonna figure it out and we gonna come back tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to do my best to find the things that I need to find. Like it's literally, it, I feel like it's at least eight to 10 buildings. I don't even know how to get in. And I done sat up here and got dropped off by the dang old ornaments and accessories. I don't want to go see that. Flower, jewelry, craft. I need a map. <laughs> so today is going to be go. practice run. And tomorrow I'm going to go home. is I don't know what day but this is city three and I'm actually about to start getting things going my taxi driver is being very helpful <laughs> um, anxiety is hella high today not in a bad way I'm totally safe but things just require a lot of patience and things don't, are not going as planned but I'm going to make it happen you guys won't be seeing that much of me probably today and tomorrow because I'm just trying to take in the full experience and I really got it's getting crunch time because it's almost time for me to leave China and I still got a lot to do for people back home yes yes ICBC told y'all remember the vlog I did with the ICBC bank always look for the ICBC bank but um totally safe y'all don't hear from me that much I'm okay <laughs> thank you so this place is huge <laughs> it's for my vlog <laughs> This place is huge to the point where one thing that I needed to look for is looks like almost a five to ten minute drive from the next thing that I need to look at. Last day in China, I struggled to find an ATM to take my car. Spending way more money <laughs> than I planned, but uh, hustle up, a, hustle up a ride to the uh, ATM or whatever. Right? Tell the dude best I could because my phone ain't got no service right now my phone is a brick right now so I try to tell him as best as I could wait stay right here don't go nowhere as soon as I close the door what the fuck he do leave pull the fuck off so I found a cab but now I gotta try to sign 
I'm not sign language, that's not the proper word. Play charades to tell my driver where I live. If you're watching this, that means I made it. And just like that, the explorer wins again. The explorer wins again. He ain't listened to nothing I said. Pretty sure he took the long way, but I ain't trying to go to jail in China over $2. Like, the explorer got to get back to the United States. God forgive me, but I got to sneak inside the disabled toilet because I ain't got time to be squatting over these little holes that these folks be. Squat. I'm going to show y'all what it look like. I ain't got time. I got too much to be squatting down and trying to make sure I don't touch nothing. It's just too much. I'm, God forgive me. What the regular toilets look like. Still traveling. I had to pull out my sweatshirt because the weather here is horrible. It's cold. It's raining. And I just got off the bus walking to my Airbnb. Um, it looks like I'm in a pretty good neighborhood. So that's great. I was going to do some adventurous things today, but because of this weather and because I'm tired, I am going to settle in, shower, and get right to work. I have so much updating to do inside of the private portal. I have some her image work I need to be doing. I have some pretty and productive lady leader projects in the works. Um, I have some real estate studying to do. I have a lot going on, and I'm in the transition and moving uh, from one place to another in Dallas. So. This is gonna be fun, 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 y'all. Good morning, so I have to stop telling myself that I do not like the DFW airport because I think subconsciously, every time I have to go to DFW, it makes my body oversleep. So out of all the million and one flights I took from here to China and back, this is the only one that I almost overslept. Thank God my host woke me up and drove me to the airport. <laughs> and I'm back in this sweatshirt because it's cold in Canada and it's the only piece of warm clothing I brought because I live in Dallas and you don't really need that but I'm almost home like I'm I'm for real almost home I mean I know yesterday I said I was almost home but this time I'm for real almost home